In this tutorial we are going to learn how to download and import animated human models from Mixamo to SimLab Composer, and how to utilize them in creating a VR experience. To begin, go to the SimLab Academy in the bottom panel, then select VR, then VR Guide, and then click on Mixamo characters. The first item is going to play this tutorial, so move to the second item, and load the 3D environment. Once the 3D environment is loaded in SimLab Composer, Go to the second step and drag it and drop it onto the 3D area, or double-click it to activate it and open Mixamo.com. Mixamo.com is a 3D library for animations and models by Adobe, and it is free to use. Sign up for free if you do not have an existing account, or log in if you have either a Google, a Facebook, or an Apple account. Once you're logged in, from the top panel, select Characters. As you can see, Mixamo offers a variety of characters that you can choose from. To switch to a character, select it from the panel to the left. The model that we will be using in this tutorial is named SWAT, and it's located near the bottom of the first page. Additionally, Mixamo allows you to upload your own humanoid 3D model, and it will automatically create a rigged skeleton for it, so that you can apply one of the available animation clips to it. To add an animation clip to the selected 3D model, click on Animations in the top panel. Mixamo has a huge library of animations to choose from, so instead of browsing for the animation, we are going to use the search box. Type run and hit enter on the keyboard to view the search results. Click on one of the running animations to apply it to the 3D model. On the right panel, we have a few options that are available depending on the type of the applied animation. The in-place option ensures that the 3D model remains in its initial place throughout the animation, which is preferable if you intend to specify the path of motion for the model in SimLab Composer through the Walk on Path feature. The Arm Space option allows you to adjust the space between the character's arm during the running cycle. The Overdrive option speeds up the animation, but for this example, we are going to leave the options to their default values. Click on Download. In the Download Settings dialog, you can choose the file format. SimLab Composer is able to read any FBX format, so choose one or leave it to the default FBX binary setting. Under Skin, you can choose whether to download it with skin or without. Choosing the With Skin option will download the 3D character along with the animation. Choosing to download without the skin on the other hand will download the animation only without the 3D model. Let's set it to download the skin as well as the animation for now. Set the frames per second to 30 to match SimLab Composer frame rate, and the reduction to none, since we are using the 30 frame rate, which needs no reduction to achieve. Click Download. Once the download is complete, go to SimLab Composer. Then from the File menu, select Import. Browse to the downloaded file then select it. In the Import File dialog, make sure you enable the Import Flex Object Animation, then click OK. Press N on the keyboard then click on the ground to place the imported model in that location. Go to the Animation tab and select the imported character, as you can see, there's a running animation on the timeline, and if you were to go to the Sequences tab, you will also find a running animation sequence. Feel free to rename the sequence for a better management of the animations in the scene. Now we want to add another animation to the same model, so let's go back to Mixamo. In the search box type, Salute. Now select the Salute animation to apply it to the 3D model.
Click download, and in the download settings panel, set the option to without skin, since we only want to download the animation and not the model along with it. From the file menu in SimLab Composer select, import. Select the recently downloaded Salute file, and notice that there's a huge difference in file size, since this file does not contain a 3D model. Make sure that the Import Flex animation is enabled and click OK. Go to the Sequences tab, and there, you will find a new tab named Unattached, and inside is the Salute Animation Sequence. If you were to click the Preview button on the animation sequence, nothing will play, since the imported animation is not attached to a 3D model yet. To attach the imported animation sequence to the 3D model, select the Salute Animation Sequence, and select the 3D character, then click the Attach button. Now that the sequence is attached, you can go to the Running tab, and there, you will find an attached copy of the Salute animation. Let's create a simple animation using those two animation sequences. Go to the Animation tab, and select the existing animation, which is running, then press Delete on the keyboard to delete it. Then go to the Sequences tab, and drag and drop the attached Salute sequence to the 3D area. In the Apply Animation Sequence dialog, set it to Repeat, since it's a stationary animation, and make sure that the repetition is set to 1, then click OK. After the Salute, we want the character to start running, and for that, we need to create a path to determine the translational movement. From the Create menu select Paths, then select Create Path. Set it to pick points in 3D space, then choose a B-spline path. Place the first path point right underneath the character, then proceed into forming a full path. Go to the Sequences tab and drag and drop the running animation onto the 3D area. Set the type to Walk on Path, and leave the speed at its value since SimLab Composer calculates it based on the joint's movement in the animation, then click OK. Now select the path that we have created, and rotate the character if necessary, to align it with the path's initial tangent. Go to the Animation tab and play the animation. To use the created animation in VR, we need to first convert it into an animation sequence. Select the created keyframes and click on Create Animation Sequence. Type in a name for the sequence and click OK. Now we have an animation sequence that we can play using the Play Animation Sequence response in the Training Builder. To quickly follow up with the animation creation in the tutorial, you can go to the third step and download a 3D character and some animations, just drag and drop the download model step onto the 3D area, and once the download is complete, browse to its location. Extract the zip file, and there, you will find a variety of Mixamo animations, and a 3D model of the SWAT team character with the running animation.